what is economics? And I think the best definition here is that economics is a study of scarce resources, where scarce resources includes money, time, energy, like physical energy in the world, like oil, but also personal energy, like you don't have infinite energy to spend solving problems in the world and working, effort, attention, like somebody's attention online or someone's attention from a friend, that's a scarce resource. But then there's also other scarce resources that are a little bit weirder, like a class you take in college. Like you only have four years of college and only say four courses for, per semester. So the any given class is going to be a scarce resource that you're filling in with some spot. You only have a limited number of birthdays in your life and you, that might be 100 birthdays. You don't know if it's 120 or 60 or whatnot, but you know it's definitely a scarce resource. So if there's something you want to do for your birthday, you're having to figure out how do you spend that scarce resource. And all of the core tools of economics are going to be ways of thinking about scarce resources when you're trying to make good decisions about them. So like trade-offs, that's one of the main core concepts in economics that on one hand, if you do this, then it, there's some good things about it and some bad things about it. And that's definitely at play anytime you're trying to allocate a scarce resource or use it in some way. Opportunity cost is obviously, it's sort of uh, the next best way that you could be using that scarce resource if you didn't have your number one pick for how to use it. And then marginal thinking helps us to think about the value of something and how that value changes. And of course, if you're allocating scarce resources, you're weighing these values against one another. If you use your time in one way, how do you value that? Versus if you use your time in another way, how do you value that? And how does that change if you've already spent five hours with your, your friends and you maybe the marginal benefit of that is lower if you haven't studied at all and the marginal benefit of studying, like one hour of studying is higher if you haven't done any studying. So the fact that the value of something that you're weighing when you weigh these trade-offs with scarce resources, that value depends heavily on the particular situation. And the whole tool set is really designed to help us think about this. And then the last thing I want to say is just to speak to people who think economists study the economy. And you might think, okay, why scarce resources rather than the economy? And essentially, like, what is the economy? The economy is the way resources flow through the economy. And what are resources? That they're, they're entirely scarce. So this is just a way of breaking down what the economy actually is comprised of. 